Hello everybody. So in this video I will show you how to make some transparent conductive glass at home. So this method which I will show you today is really really easy uh, to make at home. So here I have two samples of this transparent conductive glass. Uh, so this was my petri dish but this petri dish uh, broke to the pieces uh, so here I have some samples of this uh, conductive petri dish so this I use for the background that you can see the transparency And on this one I get 250 kilo ohms, which is in basic a lot, but hey, it's made at home. Almost 600 kilo ohms. So oh, this one is a little bit better, but you can see that this one is a little bit uh, cloudy because more layers you put, more conductive will get, but uh, also the transparency will go down. Here I have uh, 0.8 mega ohms. And also the layer, the conductive layer is not even. So you need to find the right spot. Here I get 23 kilo ohms. 11 kilo ohms. four. around 5 kilo ohms 4 kilo ohms 1.4 kilo ohms 1 so the back side This is not coated side of the glass and you see no conductivity. Two point six to two point five. Very nice. So the really basic material which I use is some tin chloride. Some tin chloride I put on the glass and the glass is put on some hot plate. The hot plate need to have the temperature of around uh, 350 to 400 degrees C. Uh, the tin chloride will melt into tin oxide and you will get the glass covered with tin oxide so basically the tin oxide uh, is conductive and also transparent but more tin oxide will form more cloudy uh, more cloudy will get the glass so this uh, for to make this one i use a little bit different uh, different setup I mean different method uh, which I will in basic show to you uh, to make this kind of glass I use two petri dishes so in basic you have one glass 
then you put something in between and on the top you put the second glass and over here on some spot you add some tin chloride and these two glasses are on some hot plate Three hundred fifty to four hundred degrees C, and everything is covered with uh, aluminium foil. So you need to cover uh, everything uh, with aluminium foil, and you leave it, and then you get something like this. So. Before you start, you need to make a solution of tin chloride. Here in this beaker, I have some hot water. Uh, I use 30 milliliters of hot water. And into this 30 milliliters of hot water, I will add 3.5 grams. of tin chloride okay so you need to have some warm to hot water uh, in this case the tin chloride will dissolve a little bit easier so this one I will put on my uh, magnetic stirrer and I will stir for about 10 minutes and here I get my solution of tin chloride uh, I also forget to say when I mix everything together uh, I also add two to three drops of hydrochloric acid the hydrochloric acid is the stabilizer and now I will put this solution into this spray can that I can spray this solution okay nice and here is my hot plate uh, the aluminium foil cover and some petri dish the temperature 400 degrees C and now I will apply one coat and you cover back again eleven mega ohms Okay. 
temperature for a little bit. So you need to have the temperature of 350 degrees C to 400 degrees C. Oh. That's why I cover it, uh, this petri dish with this aluminium foil. But it's way easier if you have some laboratory kiln. Uh, with the laboratory kiln is way, way, way simpler. Okay, 350 degrees C. Oh, okay. Let's check the conductivity. One hundred twenty kilo ohms. Now I use this laboratory beaker uh, because this laboratory beaker will withstand much greater heat and also will withstand uh, this thermal shock. So when I apply, I mean when I spray the tin chloride solution uh, on this glass, the glass will not crack. Uh, so in basic, I spray the tin chloride solution uh, into this glass five times and I don't get any damage. Uh, but sadly, you see that uh, the bottom of this beaker is not flat and most of the solution will form over here on the corners. But anyway, uh, the transparency is not bad actually. And let's check a little bit of the resistance of this one. So here I get 54. So the coating is not even at all. Here I get 5 ohms, I mean 5 kilo ohms. One kilo ohm. One kilo ohm. Four kilo ohms on a little bit greater distance. Four kilo ohms. So, like I said, I spray the solution of tin, uh, tin chloride uh, five times. So, uh, if I apply a little bit more layers, then I will get also better conductivity. But for now, that's it. And in the end, I will show you some transparent conductive glass sample. Uh, so this beaker I spray with this tin chloride solution which I made before uh, but this beaker I put in some uh, laboratory kiln. Uh, the temperature of the treatment was 650 degrees C and I spray four to five times inside of this beaker. I heat the beaker in laboratory oven uh, that the temperature was 650 degrees C. Then I put out this beaker spray with this tin chloride solution and then I put back again this beaker into lab kiln and I repeat this process four times. When the tin oxide is forming on glass you will get some color change and you see this rainbow color this means that uh, the tin oxide is formed on the glass the transparency 
is really really great so in basic I have here two layers of glass this side and this side and also the transparency is really really nice and now the conductivity Three hundred ohms, two hundred fifty. So the coating is not even. So that's why I need to find a great spot. Two hundred eighty. Three hundred sixteen. So with this method, uh, with higher temperature, which I put this beaker into some laboratory kiln, uh, on the temperature 650 degrees C, I get way, way better uh, conductivity. And also the transparency is also really, really nice. So guys. Uh, that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.